Okay then, let's go. Yo guys, so today we are at the Chepo's Castle and we just came here and uh, I'm going to be doing like a short film about here. So uh, we're just going to be telling you, no it's not me, but we're going to be uh, talking to a tall guy and he's going to be telling us the history of Chepo's Castle. So those of you, especially those of you that I know in Ghana, this is going to be something dope for you. So please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, just talking, we have, we have not started a tour yet, but we are just talking, just vibing too. So we're just talking about these, uh, yeah. these like bumbles. Yeah. yeah, cannons. What, cannons? Yeah, cannons. Okay, so let us know in the comment section what you think these are. You know, yeah, uh, and these are she, the balls. She's lying. These are the balls. So they balls. put these balls here. They put these balls here. Like, no matter So it goes very far. Uh, these balls are very So we are going, uh, he said uh, the tour guy said we should come in 10 minutes now. I think we have overspent the 10, the 10 minutes. So, so we are going to we are going, see so we are going to be recording everything and I hope that if you learn, I hope you learn because that's why we're here, we want to learn so I'll see you on the other side, let's get it. Okay. Don't take pictures there, but yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah. So, it's exclusive content. So guys, welcome to the building history of Kipos Castle. We invite you to explore the history of this building and discover what it's been want to conserve it for the future generations. So this Kipos Castle is the World Heritage Site, one of the group of castles and forts along the coast of Ghana and where the designated World Heritage Monument in 1960. So this is a whole view of why the Cape Coast Castle. Yeah. And this is Charles taken in 2018. So I'm sure this has gone on. And I have the time. I think we're using these rocks. This was, I think this would be like their yeah, cement or something like that. They are binding again. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they call it to them. Iron Mondri or Mondri no Mondri New Odum Timba in me
Greece came here, the Swedish came here, the Danes, the Statue, the Dutch, and then the English castle, the okay, Cape castle. Those who came here. Mm -hmm. So come, come and see this one. Ah, this is it, huh? I think they will say that like half of it is washed away or something. No, it hasn't been washed away. Yeah. yeah. But it's like the sea or something like that. So this is where we're standing. This is where we're standing. And I have a yes, you want to have a yes. And these are the classrooms for children now. So these ones were the, I think they are churches and all that. Oh, you think they're right Yeah, you think that like you're yeah, using a drone shot over the building? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> This wasn't built for a good reason, but we still got to appreciate culture. So yeah, so we're going out, we're gonna start the tour itself. So see you next time. So the topic for today is the transatlantic slave trade. Okay. And it all happened when Christopher Columbus went to the Americas. Okay. When there and then there was the need for men to work in the Ashuka King plantation or coffee plantation. Mm -hmm. But they needed men who could work there. Formerly they were using the Red Indians, but they were not that strong. Mm -hmm. They were dying. So a Catholic priest named Bartolomeo de las Casas introduced them to African slavery. Mm -hmm. Took more of these slaves to the Caribbean to go and work. Domestically, we had domestic slaves where cities were fighting against cities. And then the reason became a slave for the winner. This type of slavery, they had opportunity, own properties, get married, their kids when they were regarded as slaves. So this castle, 356 years old. Wow. Bent bricks, oyster shells, lime powder, used as objects to build the castle. So this castle has no onion rods. Wow, and it's still standing. It's still standing. Wow. Now, let's go in here. So formerly, at that time, there were no lights. So the three paints up there is the only source of light and ventilation for the slaves. Mm -hmm. And another thing is that there five rooms, and in each of these rooms, there were 200 men kept here for three months. 200, 200, 200, to the last room. So 1,000 men at a particular time, kept for a maximum of three months. So here was the, uh, there was a gate here. There was here. a gate here for the first people here. And in here, defecation was done here. People will vomit blood, food particles were all left on the floor here. Yeah. What? Yes. So when it rains, rain water comes from the banks to wash the waste through the fence. This from here it moves down to the last minute it enters the sea. This is wickedness. So yes. like you are sleeping in here and you're... The same thing. Can you imagine? But yeah, you see, you looking at this you place, see. you see the bricks on the floor. These are from excavation works done. Archaeologists from the University of Ghana excavated this place. That is why we have this place. Okay. Having them bricks. Come with me. Mm. Wow, so initially, the, these bricks are not there. The bricks is the original floor. Okay. Oh, this is the original floor. But have a look at this place. Mm. Take a look at this particular room. And then there also. I mean, throughout. You see that there, we, we, we no more see the bricks. Mm. So standing here, we are standing on human waste. These are wow. fermented human waste. Poopoo we will vomit blood food particles to larger extent human flesh because most of them died in the cave in here. And above this place was a church. Up here was a church. How uh, can you have a, a church right above where you are can torturing you people? people? Ionically heaven up held down. <laughs> a security hole just in front of a church. After church that we standard to witness our slaves were faring down here. Wow. Take a look at that. Alright uh, guys, so this is the security. Wow. This is this is crazy. Hello. 
in this place, we have a shrine here. It talks about our tradition. Mm -hmm. Now, you see this place to be brighter than the rest of the rooms. Yeah. This place was known as the sorting room. They were sorted out. The sick and the weak were not part of the journey. They were left in the room over here to die. And then the strong ones were made to go into the ships. Behind the wall here is an underground tunnel where enslaved Africans were forced to walk through, join the female counterpart at the door of no return. But slavery abolished here around 1833 by George McLean to signify that he closed the tunnel. That's why As we before, okay. the tunnel there was nothing like this. Okay. So they just walked through. Ah, okay. So when George McLean abolished slavery, he closed it. 1833, he closed it. And before Europeans brought the Bible, Africans, we worship God. And this is one of our gods, God, God Nanatabe. It's the leader of all the gods here. Nah. Formerly it was here, but it was taken out for the construction of the building. And after slavery was abolished, it was returned back to its original place. Active God is the priest that takes care of it. His name is Anakwami in Krabia. Suits for visitors and then reads brought by friends to okay. pay homage to those who died. Any question? Okay, okay. Wow. So so it's it's still like the the, the God that yes. is he still yes. working. He's still working. like Yes. Wow. He's the leader of all the gods in Cape Coast. Cape Coast wow. here we have seventy seven of them. And he's the leader of them. Wow. Wow. So this is before they came, we had our own... So why didn't our gods, like, why didn't they do something like So like I told you Why earlier, didn't our priests, like, why didn't they foresee something like this? Why didn't they do something about it? Can I ask you a question to answer your question? Yes. Yeah. Europeans brought the Bible. Yes. yes. So God didn't say that they were coming to humiliate people like this. So that's why you, you okay, question... Okay, let's like, say it's, for it's, our side, do you know about, about the... Do you know about the God? Yeah, God. They are trying to... We were worshipping God, though. Yes. We were worshipping God back through them. Yes. Yes. And they wanted to bring the Christianity and all that. Before that we had our prison. Like the kind of you know, we worship the gold. idea I told you first mm. was to trade. Mm. That was the idea. To trade in gold. They came to trade in gold. So we gave them the land. Mm. And they wanted the land close to the sea. Mm. Because they had their ships. That time there were no aeroplanes, mm. cars and other stuff. So they had they had their ships on the sea. So equally, they wanted the building close to the sea so that easily they could move into the ships and then move back. Mm. That was the point. The God who was here mm. was taken out because when they came, this particular land traded hands for five different Europeans. The Portuguese were here, built the wooden structure. They were taken by the Swedish, the Dutch, and the Danes. What happened was with them, they were trading with the natives in gold. Mm. They were not into slavery. But when the British came, the people were still passing through to come and worship. Mm -hmm. But when the British came, they stopped the people from worshiping. And then they made the people remove their God from here to the town. So, you see, every city has its own God. Let's say your God was here. You have removed the God from here to wherever you wanted. So the God is now occupying that particular place. And they were left to build their castle here. The idea was that we are coming to build and to be, and the, to the natives, they thought that it was the same trading that they were going to do. Mm. So they had, so this they is what, you. yes. But for those on the outside. Formerly, the idea was that this was a warehouse. Okay. Not knowing it was a slave house. So, so what, what point or what happened, like for, for the slave thing to happen? Like, because first you say you are coming for trade. So what was that thing that... So I told her first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I, I wasn't was there. So a Catholic oh, priest named Bartolomeo de las Casas, yeah. who had been here in Africa, see how strong the Africans were, okay. he introduced the Europeans to slavery. Actually, the Catholic priest was from the southern side of America. So when the Europeans got to that place and they were using the native Red Indians, he saw how Europeans were well, treating their, his people. Mm -hmm. So he okay. was like, no. You come or treat us like that. Rather come to Africa. Africans are stronger than we. Okay. So this made the Europeans fell in love with the African slave market. Came and took more of these slaves to the Caribbean. So the whole idea was brought by just one man. So so how how was the the slaves taking? Like okay, we are here. We have a land here. We have a castle here. Okay, now so you out. report. <laughs> 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 so I just yeah. can't think. I can't think far. Like so, the, the, the whole idea was that uh, you see, domestically we had domestic slaves. 
cities were fighting against cities. Yeah. Yeah, these are the Tamil slaves. So he sits here from. Uh, he comes to work close with us, 4:30. Wow. Then he goes. He goes back to his house. Wow. Yeah. As a matter of fact, one of my comfort will come over my bro. Yeah. People consult him every place that day. So, like, our chiefs were fighting against each other because the deal was profitable. And then they were fighting to enlarge their kingdoms. And having the uh, control of another kingdom means those people become a slave. But we, our type of slavery, we, you serve me after some time, your freedom was given to you back. But the okay. transatlantic slavery was different. Europeans came, we were fighting with bow and arrow. Yeah. And then with spear. But when they came, they lured our chiefs, gave them guns, gunpowder. So these items were used. One person could just take a gun, invade a whole village, bring the young men, come and stop. But I, I don't think oh, okay. we should so, blame so, the whites so, that so, much. So, so is there no, no. the chief that actually... Before, we were doing these things. Like, we were doing it, but our Tribes was were conquering tribes. Would we yeah. have a car with Then you yeah. read over the... Land yeah. and also, we understood the, the concept. Yeah. Yeah. In a way. example is the Ashanti Kingdom. Yes. Yeah. You see, like they know that they are going to get money ships. and all those things. They were yeah. getting paid for it, right? Yeah. They were getting they're stuff getting like sh um, guns and other Gun, stuff. Gun, gunpowder, mirror, and drinks. Every, so it's our people that sold that. That sold that. Yes, they wanted to be stronger to our fight the Ashantis. You get it? That's, that's my whole. That's like one of the most. For example, Ashanti Kingdom kidnapped so many people from the northern part of Ghana yeah. and then instead of them to serve them they bring them down and sell them to the British so our own people were slave raiders our own people were slave raiders we should be blaming the whites like yeah, the we should blame them the because whites. the idea our type of slavery was different from theirs yeah. we thought that how our slavery was like is the same thing that they were going to do okay. for example I am owing you I can't pay my child come and serve you for some time you pay the debt is paid off. Yeah. It comes back to me, not as a slave. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And then even with this uh, kingdom occupying, the the, the, the slave uh, city, normally within a year, gets its proceeds from the farm and then give it to whoever is the leader. And then get some few people go and serve the chief there. Okay. After some time, they have brought back another group goods. But here they were like, no, these people that you are freeing, bring them to us. We want them to go and work for us. So the idea was, I'm bringing you people to go and work for you. But whatever goes on down there, they didn't. I'm sure if the chiefs knew what was going on down there, they would have stopped. Although they needed them. But God knows best. Like, God knows like best. a black American inside. So, oh, that that they mean, and that, when they that came, one how was they feeling like? That, that like, how did they feel? They normally hear like the Like, when they came back. They want to fight. I mean, especially mm. when we have... Uh, fight within our tour. Mm. So normally we don't mingle the black yeah. black Americans when they fight. Mm. Because already there they don't teach them this. Yeah. So yeah. when they come here and they listen to me, really what happened was like yeah. wow. We are in a shock. So what are the fights like some of them feel remorseful, I mean sad. Others feel like oh your own people sold them to us. So yeah. To that day. Yeah. Let's talk about this side. So this side is a graveyard where four identified groups are Europeans, this is African. So you see, even in that, there is that racism. Philip Kwaku was 11 years old when he was given a scholarship to study abroad. Okay. He's the first black man to be ordained a priest wow. at age 24. And the church I showed you down there, this is the church up here. Yeah. He was a pastor there. He was given a scholarship because his father was a slave merchant, selling slaves to the British. Mm. His father, Ubrim Ponkojo, was one of the wealthiest men in Gold Coast then. So are the skeletons still yes, there or just for he died age seventy five. He was buried here. Around eighteen sixteen. And then the three here are Europeans. So we have C B Whitehead who was an army commander. A soldier came in here died around eighteen twelve. Cause of death is unknown. But once buried here we believe he'll be one of the important people. He was yeah. thirty eight when he died. Leticia Elizabeth Lyndon is the wife of George McLean. Came to visit the husband. Two months she was found dead. Actually, she committed suicide. As of the time she came, the husband was having a girlfriend called Ellen Bannerman. Out of jealousy, she took poison and died. Was she a Ghanaian? Ghanaian. From Accra. Mm. Actually, Ellen Bannerman was a mulatto. Was His a... father was white and oh, okay, a so black she was mother. mixed. Yeah. And then she committed suicide hearing that or seeing the husband having an affair with that lady 
she took poison and died. She was 36 when she died. And that is George McLean, the last one. And George McLean was a Scottish, came near around 1830, 1833, he abolished slavery, closed the tunnel we have there, designed the bond of 1844, yeah. helping the colonization of Ghana for 113 years. Malaria killed George McLean. He was 46 when he died. Let's move up here. See, at that time, there were no vaccines for malaria. Yeah. And I hear that like one of, one of the things that drove them away, some of them, quite away, was because of the malaria. Malaria. Malaria was killing them. As a matter of fact, this place was known as the white man's grave. You come here within six months, one year, they will be dead. Mm. You know, these are cannons and cannibals. <laughs> Europeans I fighting against each other. Because the deal was profitable. And being profitable, you have to own the castle. Yeah. So when the British built the castle, taking it from the Dutch, when the British they, they built the castle, there was a need to protect it. So they had the cannons and then the cannon balls. So wherever intruders are approaching, the balls were loaded to the guns and then it is shot. These balls are very heavy. And it creates holes in the ships so that oh, okay, it sinks so the it ships. Oh, okay. I have a feel of the balls. They are very heavy. So, so it wasn't for 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 gun like like, like for fire purposes, but it was just to create holes in in there. Oh, this is cool. Take the other one. Which one? Any any of the other ones? Oh, oof. Oh, guys, macho. Yeah, hey. this is quite a. <laughs> Don't do exercise. Then come here. Now, tubes was connected to the top of the building so that when it rains, rainwater was collected and stored in the reservoir. These are reservoirs. We have two here, two at the back there as well. Okay. But they and have this source of water, so why are they drinking? Oh, they needed to drink. Okay. They can't drink this. Yeah. For the three months and slave Africans, we had never took their bath. The only time the females took their bath was, the, was when the soldier was interested, interested in it. That was the only time the females had the opportunity of taking their bath. So the reservoir purposely for drinking and uh, cooking. Is it very deep? It's deep, about 16 feet deep. Oh, wow. there's still water in it. Yes. Let's move down. So this is part, I so mean... Like how long did it take them? Like how long did it take them to build? 50 years. It took them 50 years. Okay. Using cheap labor in the form of the slaves. So the slaves were used to build their own house so that they sleep. Formally, this was where these two were formerly the dungeon. Look through it. Yeah. It's really deep, guys. Wow. This Maybe two were formerly the dungeons. So ladder was connected down there. So they put them inside. When the ships come, they bring them out. So when the British took over and then on the construction of the building, then they created the dungeon. Then they converted these ones to be reservoirs. So this place was closed. But let's see part of the underground tunnel. Yo guys, so I hope you really learn it. Because you are really, really learning. So you're going down the dungeon. So let's go. This part of the underground tunnel. Where, where a soldier is standing here, directing them to move further down. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the place. You cannot go inside, it's about 18 feet today. So just take a So how, how were they like... They are coming from where the shrine is. Passing through oh. here to the exit, which is down there. Oh, so that's opening there. That opening there. Yes. So it connects them from wow. that place through here to the... I mean, so we know where from. Okay. Wow. So the same soldier is making sure that the number that started from that side is the same number same that comes here. On this side, all this side of the building, there's a warehouse. Mm -hmm. So while slave trade was going on, items used for the exchange of the slaves and then items used for the construction of the building were put in this particular side of the building as well. So as they, they, they were taking our people away, they were still making money. Money. Using it to develop the the account. Oh man! Now this side. This side is the exit of the tunnel, mm. which has also been blocked. 
George McLean blog this site around 1833. When they come out from here, they pass through the door of Norriton, which was here. Okay. So come out from here, pass through here. But this place was closed because when the waves are high, water comes around the site and it is distracted. Mm -hmm. So they close the site and send the door of Norriton further here. Okay. Let's go there. But before we go there, this place is a cell. So I see that dungeons were not punishment enough. They create a cells. So and the, 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 the female cell is not a cell. No. The female cell, the tangent was their house <laughs> or their room. They have the female cell and the male cell. The female cell is called the punishment cell. The male cell is called the condemned so cell. So what is this? This is a hole for poo poo and wee wee for them, for the females. So that's when the raping the girls. And if you resist rape, you are brought here. The punishment was to resist rape. And no source of light. And ventilation. Were there many here? Or the like females were 300. Like in this room? Like this room, 10 at a particular time. Then I think this is even better. You should even do some in so that they bring you it's here. It's worse. It's worse, eh? Because I think here, when you For 10 sunlight, days, 10 days, they were put here, fed once, so that you change your mind. Mm. So the idea was for you to change your mind. So why wouldn't you even agree? If you don't change your mind, you'll be here till you die. And hanging, I mean, going on hunger. So, strength. like the way they, they, they did everything from that place, the way they created underground everything to this place, like, for something secretive, even if you come here, you will never you have an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Suspect. You will never suspect. Yeah, the walls Everything's were very thick. thick. Look at the walls. You won't change the So, even the they're screaming, Scream. yeah, you won't hear, you won't hear. hear it. You just echo, echo. 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 Yes. And this city and the, the, the people that. came, I mean some of the natives, the chiefs who were selling these people came and were like, ah, we are hearing some noise. And they'll be like, oh, we have some dogs <laughs> around. And normally when they come, they had domestic slaves who were working. Mm -hmm. And okay. these domestic slaves wearing better attire. Okay. After they came here, and they were like, oh, we'll call for now. See what they are doing. I mean, they are well. So it was a disguise and thing. I'm The number of females were 300, 150 here, 150 on the opposite side. Here, kids as low as 11 years to 20 years were here. 20 years and above were in the opposite side. And they were oh, so the slaves' kids was also part? Yeah. I so told, them, they, were, they went really to the farm, they were working, they captured them. Some of them had their babies even at their back. They brought them. For, for all of what I learned in school, I, I don't know, but we never... They were, they, they were, you know, I they thought it was only grown ups. Them, grown ups, children. For example, a, a whole family was kidnapped. Your wife, yourself, your kids. And leaving the kids, who is going to take care of them? So they had to bring them. For those who made it abroad, yeah, are you close to yeah, the lucky for ones. The, for the, 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 the. I watched a movie on the black, um, whatever, slavery, whatever, and how some of the like, blacks gained their freedom out there. It's, it's I recommend this movie for this you. Woman. This woman called her Harriet Tuckman. I think she's the one. Yes. Her movie. She did very... a lot. Like, her, yeah, she's massive. I think she was called Moses in the movie. In the movie. That was her nickname, yeah. Moses. Moses. The kind of mm, work she was doing. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Check that movie. The movie massive. is called Harriet Tuckman. Yo, guys, you just Homecoming. 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 You check Homecoming. it out. Now, this place, Poo Poo Wee Wee Vomit, Maces, everything was done here. And they were sleeping here. A door here that so just stand there to pick attractive ladies for rape. Most of the ladies got pregnant, and if you are pregnant, you are taken to the town where there were nurses to take care of them. Mm. Kept them till they gave birth. And when you give birth, the child is taken from the mother. And the mother is brought back to the dungeon to join the next batch of slaves. So like they take the children or Yes, they, they take the children. Those soldiers were they uh, like white. Ghanaians who they are white. So which means so they'll they give them the they don't give them to the community, it's the kids it's are the for kids them. are for them. They gave them European names, Roxanne Addison, Ferguson, Morrison, Dixon, Johnson. That's how come these names are very common here. Mm. So how did those people that live here got their names? So, you see, the children were children of Europeans. Yeah. They made the domestic slaves look after them. Okay. Normally when they were going, they had wives there. They didn't want to destroy their homes. So they left these kids here. They were the ones known as mulattoes, mm. misrace. Right. Yeah. So, they left the kids here for, I mean, the, sla uh, the domestic slaves to take care of them. Mm. And then they went. 
And these kids were the ones having these those names: Roxanne, Addison, Ferguson, yeah. Morrison, Smith, York, yeah. De Graft, and the rest. So they you know, also we, growing we, up. We copy blind. You know we copy that. blind. Yeah. And even in the olden days, there were stories that we heard that there were some families they just wanted some of the mulatto kids, so they wouldn't yeah. give their female girls to the white. Just just sleep with them, people. Mm. Just let us have mulatto in our family. And for as a name like Blanksin. Yeah. Blanksin was Kuntu, we had Kuntu, and Kuntu was blanket for yeah. them, it yeah. was blan blanket. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, the name for uh, Kuntu was blanket. Yes. Yes. And we hearing that the name for blanket was, uh, the name for Kuntu, Kuntu was, was blanket, blanket. Mm. then if you are Kuntu, then you are Blanksin. So I've heard of Kuntu Blanksin. Yes. Like, so normally, so they added it, Kuntu, Kuntu Blanksin. Blanksin. Yeah. So every blankson is going to go to blankson. That is how the woman thinks. Let's go to the bathroom with them. Hey, I'll show them a half hour. And then I'll be fresh. So they will go through the door of no return, which was here. Door of no return. Because no person went through and came back. Mm. But today we are going through and we will come back. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as big as it is, it was a small door. In here, ships were anchored on the sea, and slaves were put into smaller boats like we have them here, yeah. and moved into the bigger ships. Yeah. And then they are carried to the Americas. But back here, we have the door of return, where two slaves were brought back. I mean, the Ascalitans were brought back to Ghana. Oh. Samuel Caxon, Madame Krista, New York, Jamaica, respectively. They were dead. So the Ascalitans were brought back, and then passed through the same door of no return. Like they must have been important people yes. for their slaves. As a matter of fact, uh, some uh, Madame Crystal went on a hunger strike till she died for the abolishment of slave trade. Oh, wow. Samuel Caxon was also one of the pioneers who fought for the abolishment of slave trade. Oh, okay. So we were like pioneers of slave traders, okay. to, just for the abolishment of slave trade. So and then they were, they were the first group of slaves taken from this particular castle. Now they are buried in a same answer where the slaves took their last part to represent that although they lost contact with their family, two of them have returned home. So their descendants there should trace their route back home. And that's why we have the door of return. Since we have the door, let's go back. So when we come back, is that now you understand? Yeah, now, now I understand why it's a problem. <laughs> I hear about you, those Let's the Yeah. Yeah, No person waiting and survived. All of them died. The only original door we have here, 250 years and above, made of pine wood and metal. Let's go in, let's see how the place is like. This room has no ventilation, no food, no water. Watch your head when going in, come in. I'm here, Jelly Lines. I don't need to bend. There are no lights. So, you, you put lights here. I don't hear the door in the middle and the first one. So all the three doors were locked. It was also ventilation. But how how you well, well, why is that there's a door here, there's another door here? To kill them. So why is it? It's called a cell. It could have been a short. You can never them. escape, like you can never escape this. Now those there were seen to be rebellious. Mm, okay. They were fighting back. And being rebellious, they brought them here. So the idea was to kill them. Easily they would have shot them. Yeah. And they wanted them to feel the pain in death. That was the idea. Let's go from here. We are not supposed to die here. God. Where is your two eyes? Yeah. God. We still have some more time. Let's yeah. the governor's resident and then we end it. Okay.
first judicial court in West Africa. This place. We call it McLean's Hall. Judge McLean built this place after the abolishment of slave trade. So civil cases, criminal cases were held here. So they were the criminals, so how do you hold, hold uh... That time it was, I mean, uh, during the colonial days. So this is the first Western type of judicial court in the whole of West Africa. You call it stone. Then this kind of stone. Yes. 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 So, it looks like stone. The castle is 356 years, so. This was where the soldiers lived. This side. We have the art market. Okay. Mm. Now they are turning into a market now. Okay. The soldiers barracks. So the soldiers were they Ghanaians or white? Whites. Or whites. At that time point. After the slave trade, then the blacks joined it. They trained some of the blacks to be soldiers. Nine windows here for one person that have now. This is the living room for the government. Living room. Nice ventilation, nice view looking at the ocean. Sea breeze, mm -hmm. enough. Wow. <laughs> enough, I mean, mm -hmm. five star. Five star. <laughs> five star. And this is the bedroom. Wow. It's a spacious bedroom. So, living room, bedroom for the government. Take a look at the hill over there. You see that round building with a red top? Yeah. It's a fort. We call it Fort William. So Fort William was built as a security check post yeah. for the castle. Mm -hmm. So wherever intruders are approaching, I think those, right here, castle, the fort it's not wherever, yeah. but almost all the castles are a fort. Yeah. Cape Coast here, we have two forts. No, we are doing this something is bad. Fort That's William. Right. Another yeah, fort here. This is the first time you can check. Yes. So Anglican Church started from Cape Coast mm -hmm. and when they left this castle, they are in the castle, I will show you the mm -hmm. church right now. When they left the castle, that was the first Anglican Church. The Methodist Church was also in Cape Coast. Okay. The Methodist Church was built, they were having their service at where the graves are, mm -hmm. in the castle. Okay. But when they left here, this is the Methodist Church. Okay, the one straight the one, the street, the one there. Mm -hmm. And then the Catholic Church was in Elmina Castle. They left the Elmina Castle and established a church in Elmina. But here in Cape Coast, up there, yeah, yeah, that is the Catholic Church. So because of the churches around the side, we call this place Chapel, Chapel Square. Square. Chapel Square. Yes. Let me show you for Victoria. So on the hill over there is Fort Victoria. You see that round building with a point there. Yeah. With this number, Ghana alone had 46 of them. Wow. Because the deal was profitable here in Ghana. So these stones, Yana, like we put them there ourselves. The stones, oh, there. it was done by these people who are working there. Which to protect, come, I'll show you. To protect the sea from entering the land. Mm -hmm. We call it sea defense. Okay. Because without it. Yeah, I mean, the water was coming. Yeah. You see, there are some people working there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the side of the field, they get to the two tickets. Oh, yeah. And I think that's the Reception area for the government. After hard day's work, this is where they came to have fun. Reception area. The government brings the business here. We ended up coming to the government the sales of the day. Fun or anything. No, 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 you don't need anything. You're feeling hot, you just come and sit here and then you're And the mosquitoes to yeah, get yeah, them. Yeah, the mosquitoes will be your friend. Why would the mosquito bite them when they have this kind of dirty things underground? And these are security posts. Yeah. So, so, Elmina, we had the first church, which is the Catholic Church, brought by the Portuguese. And then the Danes brought us the Presbyterian Church. And then the English brought us the Anglican Church. And this is the Anglican Church. Formerly known as SB. I changed it to the Anglican Church. Now we have turned into Children's Library. Mm -hmm. 
So kids can't get to learn. So it's a functional. It's functional. And then the Methodist Church came out from where the graves are. They came out from the Anglican Church. Methodist Church was just a division. Of Some of them just decided not to go to the Anglican Church. Do you know the reason why they decided that they wanted to the go to the um, Anglican came from Catholic. Catholic. Then yeah. Methodist came Methodist from, from Anglican. Then Praise Me came from. Praise oh. Me were. Praise Me also came from, I think, Praise Me would be out from Anglican. But here in Ghana, Praise Me was the second church to be in Ghana. Wow. But it doesn't look like. It doesn't look like such. Yeah. This is the security rule I told you about. Uh, okay. The one I showed you when we were down. Yeah, yeah. In the yeah. third dungeon. Okay, yes. okay. So after church service, they stand here to witness how slaves were Ah, oh, so this? Yes. This is the security rule. So just after church service, they just stand there to witness how the slaves are freaking freaking Hearing the noise, the cry, everything. And these were praying. We were using the Bible. Ironically, so, heaven was happier, hell was there. That was it. So like... And you know what, all the churches established here in Ghana, all came out from the castle. Mm. And they were all built on top of dangers. Elimina Castle, Catholic Church on top of the male slave dungeon, a female slave dungeon, Presbyterian Church on top of the male slave dungeon. This one also. So, which means through this, they wanted to just signify how heaven would be like. So, this place is heaven, they come to worship, and that is hell. That was the idea. So, were they not concerned? Like, these this same people want to go and use them for labor and. Like you are treating them this way, some of them are dying. They didn't care. They didn't care. Or it's like they didn't pay for. You see, in the Bible, they had slavery a was, I mean, accepted in the Bible, where the Bible yeah. says that they should be obedient to their uh, yeah. masters. masters. Yo guys, so I hope you really, this is the end of the video, I hope you really learned something. Uh, we are still here, so if you really like this, please make sure to hit a like and subscribe to the channel. Amazing things coming up, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know down below in the comment section what you thought about this and uh, just let me know if you really want to see more of this and uh, tell me where you, you want me to go and make it happen. So I love you guys, take care of yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah,